what is the um, personal and historical significance of Mr. Trump selecting you as the campaign manager? And uh, how do you feel that's going to transgress to women voters? Mr. Trump hired me because he sees me as somebody who's capable of doing the job that he wants done, and he also trusts me. He never once mentioned my gender to me, which I think really tells the tale of who he is as a person and as a businessman and as a leader and as an employer. In this building and all across the Trump Corporation, he has for decades employed and elevated women uh, throughout his career and throughout the entire organization. So I'm not surprised that he is the first person in history to promote a woman as a Republican presidential campaign manager. My daughters know how I feel though when they ask, Mommy, why wouldn't you support Hillary Clinton if you're a woman and she's a woman and we're girls? And I tell them that although I respect Hillary Clinton's political career, that I am all for a female president, but not that female president. It's not a hypothetical, it's Hillary. And so we may share our gender with someone, but she may not share our vision or, or our values. How will the campaign close the gap on those polls that show that distance between Mr. Trump and female voters? We intend to earn everyone's vote, including the women who have not yet said that they would like to vote for Donald Trump. We know many women in this country have great reluctance and hesitation in voting for Hillary Clinton for president. I think we're going to earn those women's votes through substance. We are going to say, look, Obamacare has been a really raw deal for many people in this country, but most predominantly for females. Why? Because females are the chief health care officers of their households. We control two out of every three health care dollars that are spent in this country. We are also the vast majority of health care providers. We are 90% of nurses and plurality of the pharmacist and plurality of the medical students and 95% of the home health aides, a very big growing business. So we're, we are the consumers and the providers disproportionately. We are affected many different ways by Obamacare. I want to beat Hillary Clinton on the issues. How will Americans view uh, Mr. Trump's immigration policies by the end of the week? Well, I hope during the cycle that they'll view his immigration policies as being very pro-American worker, as being fair to everyone involved, fair to the 11 million plus illegal immigrants who are estimated to live among us, fair to those of us who want employers to be more involved and be held more accountable. You can't just sign up for E-Verify and then just wash your hands clean. An immigration policy that's fair to the millions of Americans who are out of work or who are looking for work and feel like they are competing for these jobs with perhaps people who work in China and Mexico, but also with illegal immigrants in their own, in their own communities.